I think Rob's uh, speech was uh, very inspiring. And uh, when I uh, look at uh, Pierre's value, right? Pierre Homidiar, he founded eBay. When I look at his value and what Rob has defined his values, I mean, those are very similar. And as a, a corporate citizen, we carry those values like every day in, a, uh, in our badge, right? So we, that reminds us that, you know, these are the values of the company and we have to adhere to that. So I think his uh, speech was very inspiring. Now, uh, with this, I mean, what I'm going to talk a little bit uh, about is what PayPal acts. I mean, probably all of you know what PayPal is. I mean, either you have used uh, PayPal as uh, uh, a consumer or as a merchant. But with uh, all this emergence of the platform uh, coming up, right, I mean, what we uh, really figured out is it's not, I mean, payment is a very, very complex business uh, uh, to build from grounds up. Right? So if whatever applications uh, you are building, I mean, people are not doing it for free. They need to really monetize. And as my role at uh, PayPal is really as an evangelist, I work with entrepreneurs and developers and help them understand and how they can actually monetize these applications. So what PayPal Acts is all about is our payments, open global payment platform. So with uh, APIs, you can actually be the facilitator of the money movement between sender and the receiver. So the payment just does not happen between uh, consumer and the merchant, but let's say if you are uh, uh, doing a business payments, right? I mean, so if you are doing, let's say, an accounts uh, uh, payable, I mean, you can, from your business applications or the ERP, if you want to do a payment using PayPal. Uh, uh, or if you are, uh, let's say, you have a business model where you don't really want to charge the payment immediately, uh, but you want to execute the payment at some later stage, just take the pre-approval. Uh, uh, I mean, for example, I mean, there are a lot of uh, group buying sites uh, right now coming up uh, and you want to charge the payment only once the uh, critical mass is reached, right? So you don't want to charge them immediately. So with all these open uh, payment APIs, some of these business models are uh, easily implementable. I mean, one other example I would give is, uh, uh, let's say if you are building a marketplace and you are really not an inventory owner, but you want to, the, when the consumer is paying, he's actually paying to you. And behind the scene, you want to really do the split of payment uh, with your suppliers. You can do that with our split payment APIs. Also, we have uh, MPLs with the emergence of iPhone, iOS, and Android, and other mobile operating system. Uh, we have made it easier for developers to kind of uh, implement those, uh, uh, implement the payment functionality in those APIs, I mean, in, uh, on those uh, applications. So if you are an iOS developer or an Android developer or Windows uh, 7 developer and you want to really uh, allow an in-payment, in-application uh, payment, you can make use of our uh, uh, mobile payment libraries. Uh, then comes this, uh, 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 an embedded payment or what we call is a uh, uh, digital goods payment. So let's say uh, you are building a TV application. Right, and then you really want to facilitate the payment uh, uh, of the person who is watching the TV and the supplier who's actually selling some goods. Uh, you really don't want to leave the context from where you are. So you want to allow uh, a consumer to pay in context of your application. Uh, and uh, we also have an uh, embedded flow which can actually uh, make use of that. And you can, as a developer, can facilitate that and make a commission and things like that. So. I would encourage everybody to kind of go to x.com, that is our developer's uh, portal, and uh, uh, see what other, uh, what APIs we have. I'm go also going to be outside this uh, hall after the uh, keynotes, and if you want to talk more about uh, that, I, I mean, feel free to come and talk to me. Also, I have a couple of books to be handed out. I mean, if you are a PayPal developer, you, you want to really see how these uh, APIs work and how uh, you can actually make use of it. I mean, there is an Orali book uh, which we are giving out for free. I have a couple of copies, not a whole lot, about 10, 15 or so. So if you want that, just come see me after this keynote. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>